any woman can get breast cancer, men too, in fact. So that's why it's important to check your breasts regularly. A new campaign has been launched using a poem and illustrations to help promote regular checks and ensure people understand the signs and symptoms of breast cancer. Let's take a look. This is the way to examine your chest. Topless in front of a mirror is best. If your breasts are fairly hefty, lift them up. Righty, lefty. Have a snoop beneath each one, then turn to the side for a look once that's done. You're looking for lumps on the surface of the skin. You're checking to see if the nipple's pulled in. Look out for a puckering, dimple or tether. Now raise your arms up high together. This position may help reveal a bump or lump your breasts conceal. Well, joining us now is the consultant breast surgeon and uh, two-time breast cancer survivor, uh, Dr Liz Reardon. Hello to you, Doctor. Thank okay. you for joining us. So, tell me how all of this came about with some of the illustrations around as we're chatting. So, I'm a breast surgeon who's had breast cancer and hands up, I never checked my breasts and I realised so many of my patients didn't know how to do. So, in lockdown, I just put a video online showing people and Laura Bradford, the poet behind this, contacted me and said, I'm 37 and I didn't know this. I want to make a poem that's catchy, that's not scary. And she reached out to the incredible artist Ella Mae Statham, who got women of all shapes and sizes to come and act as models, just to create something that we can help every woman check their breasts. And I've been blown away by the response. Why do you think it is, first of all, that women don't know how to do it? And then, even if they did have an idea, a lot of women just don't check their breasts, do they? I mean, I never did. I was a breast surgeon, I thought it wouldn't happen to me. I don't think we're taught at schools. You may see little videos online, but that's not how a breast surgeon does it. My mum didn't tell me how to do it. And I just think, especially when you're young and you, mammograms don't work, it's the one thing you have to pick up breast cancer early. Mm. And that's why we've created this free resource to try and help every woman learn what to do. Mm. Although ultrasounds help a little bit. Ultrasounds are great for lumps, but they're mm. not great for screening the whole breast. And we don't, that's why young women don't get mammograms, because their breasts are too dense to see a cancer. OK, so... Um... Tell us what women should do. Obviously, we've got the illustrations yeah. behind. And where can we find this? So, at the moment, it's just on our Instagram account. Um, and we're hoping that we can create a website to share this all over the world to get it translated just for free. Mm. You need to look at your breasts. You need to feel them. You need to check your armpit. It's all in the poem. And if there's anything you're worried about, let your GP know. When do you need to do it? If you have periods, then you should do it in the middle of your cycle, when your breasts are less lumpy. If you stopped having periods, then pick a date. And a lot of people go for the first of the month. And is it once a month that you should? Every month, ideally. When you're in the shower? In, ideally, when you're lying flat in bed, rest up in a couple of pillows, especially if you have large breasts. Otherwise, you're not feeling the breast tissue. Mm. Um, and we, we talk about that in the poem. Mm. Tell me what happened to you. So I was 40. I was a consultant breast surgeon and I had a lump. I ignored it. My mum said get it checked out. And it was a stage three breast cancer. Wow. Yeah. Wow, stage three. Stage three. Goodness. And it came back on my chest wall a couple of years later, which meant I had to retire. So I now spend my time doing this just to help educate women. When you say on your chest wall, difficult to feel it there? I thought it was a nodular scar tissue. And I'm a consultant breast surgeon and I didn't know. Mm. If you are, if you find a lump, yeah. what do you do? It's really scary. And most women with lumps aren't cancer. But what I tell anyone to do is go and see their GP. They will refer you into a breast clinic and they can do the scans and hopefully put your mind at ease. Yeah. Um, as you say, most lumps are not. I mean, I have had several lumps removed. Thankfully, none of them yeah. touch would have been cancer. But it, it is scary. It's very scary. And you didn't go, even though you found a lump. Why did you not go? I just thought, it's not cancer, I've had cysts before, I'm not worried about this one, it looked the same. And it was my mum who said, look, I'm worried, and she was right. And that fear of what if can be paralysing. Mm. How did you get together with the lady that wrote the poem and also how did you then decide how to illustrate it? So Laura Bradford, who wrote it, who lives in France, contacted me and said, I've seen your video, I'm inspired. I want to make something that's not scary, that's accessible. And her aunt, who has secondary breast cancer, um, said, there's potential in this, I'm going to pay for you to have it illustrated. And Laura reached out to Ella Mae Statham, who got women to send in photographs of themselves of all shapes and sizes so we can make it real and you can find yourself in this poem and think, I can do this. Am I right in saying that men can 
uh, contract? Yes, men do get breast cancer. It's rare, but it does happen. They also get mammograms. And we've had incredible men sharing it yesterday, even though it was International Women's Day. OK, and as far as men are concerned, same things apply, but yeah. even more difficult to get them to go to the doctor. It's scary. And again, being in a clinic full of women, it's not something that men normally feel comfortable with, mm. especially when breast cancer is mainly pink in the media. But if you notice bleeding on your nipple or you have a lump, you should also get it checked out. OK. Um, and how's your health now? All clear, touch wood. Fantastic. So, it's great you. to hear. Thank you very much indeed for Thanks, explaining Kay. that to us. And we can find it on your Instagram at the moment. Instagram at the moment, mm. and we're hoping someone will help us get a resource so we can share it widely. Well, let's see what we can do about that. How, what's the Instagram? Um, I'm Arid and Liz, yeah. and the author is Totally Telling Tales. That's Laura Bradford's account, so okay. you can find it there. When we clip this up for our Twitter feed, we'll make sure we say that as well. Fantastic. Thank you very much indeed for joining Thank us. Thank you. It's great to see you. Thank you.